Today we are going to open the Lotus Wet and Dry 4 liter vacuum. Super cute, super compact, perfect for a condo. So let's go ahead and open the box. Whoa. It's lunch box. It's very tiny. Ayun niya. Okay, let's go try it. Plugging it in. Everyone, cover your ears. And. When the mid-year sale happened, finally, I got myself a 4-liter wet and dry vacuum na compact, portable. Is it really portable? I really like it because it's lightweight and low noise. That's what it's promising me. So let's go see what's inside the box. It's a little bit heavy, probably because there is so many stuff inside. Whoa. Diba parang lunchbox lang siya. It's very tiny. It's 4 liters. But it says here it's 1000 watts. So you can expect power from this tiny wet and dry vacuum. It has the power cord attached to it. You cannot remove the power cord. Hindi na siya natatanggal. Naka steady na siya dyan. And I'm expecting this would be at least ha uh, one meter yeah it is and you have the first nozzle here mm, okay my my force Ayun yan. oh there 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 just have to remove it together Ayun. so the weight is actually coming from this because the motor is here and actually it's connected to the power line and the on and off switch button, napaka simple niya. It's just an on and off thing. And you can already see that the cloth is attached to it. I think this is what we are gonna be using if we are gonna vacuum dry stuff. So ito yung pang dry stuff. And hindi ka malilito because there are markings right here at the bottom part. And then you have here the other the other filter which is the foam filter for vacuuming wet surfaces. I'm expecting other stuff inside the bucket. So you have here the hose. Alright, it's not that long as well. And finally you have this. The foam filter. Um, basic niya, no? But, yeah, I hope it works. And according to the manual, you just have to attach it the same way you did with the other filter. And you simply attach it. Right, so. And you have this. The thinnest nozzle. Only two nozzles. And then, you have the screws and this one for the mounting. You simply attach it. There you go. So we are going to do a demo, of course, because that's what I'm really excited about to give you an, a sample on how to use this, although wala naman akong training, but we are kind of testing how user-friendly this thing is. Okay, let's go try it. Plugging it in. Everyone, cover your ears! And... What happened? Goodness. Okay, again. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, but it's not that noisy. Okay, it's that noisy. Alright, so the the air is coming from this. Okay, I now get it. So are you gonna have to switch it? If you want blow dry, then you have to use the other hole here at the back. Right there, and if you wanted to vacuum here, dito mo siya ilalagay. Okay, so medyo user friendly. Well, I just assume. So let's try that again. Why do I only have your ears? Okay, we are gonna switch it. Let's see if it has the same effect. So this one should be like a blower. If ever our hair dryer breaks down, we have an extra. Whoa! This is super nice, but 
Okay, so the vacuum is not noisy, but the blow dry is really noisy. You're getting angry at me. Anyway, um, that's our dog. As you can see, I have the dog here. They're currently um, fighting, and when they fight, there's so many hair furs everywhere here on the floor. And if you can see, if you could just see our um, our, our carpet, it's right here. So maraming mga oopsie. So maraming piraso ng mga kung ano ano jan. Dog food, if you know what I mean. Ano pa ba? Dog food and stuff. So we're just gonna clean it up, okay? All right, let's go do this. Oh my goodness, look at the hair. You see that? Those are the things that we caught from vacuuming. Oh my goodness. So anyway, let's focus. Let's go see. Turn it off first. Ay! Turn it off first. Remove it from the plug. And then let's see how much uh, dirt. Yeah, dogs. How much dogs. Oh my goodness. And there you go, guys. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. We have here Domex and Lysol and we're just going to scrub a portion of this carpet. No! Don't do don't go there. Get out of there! It's dirty! Let's go see. Okay. It didn't collect any water, but... Oh no. I can feel that this... That this area is wet. And now it's time to blow dry. For blow drying, you have to switch it up. Use this side. Okay, this is us after vacuuming and <laughs> trying to clean the carpet. Um, mahirap shabesh. <laughs> We do the dry vacuum. Lahat ng mga dumi magsistick talaga dito. And, uh, medyo mahirap siyang tanggalin. Kasi gaganunin mo, you can probably wash it, pero baka numipis yung filter. So, I'm not gonna use this for vacuuming dry surfaces. I'm still gonna use our Dyson and our Xiaomi vacuum for that. So, for the wet vacuum, I basically um, scrub it using parang half cup of or one cup of uh, water with soap and I didn't see any liquid inside so parang maybe we need um, more than ha uh, half cup ganun, to see the liquid inside this thing and the drying capability well tinawakan ko yung surface hindi pa rin siya tuyo as in, basa pa talaga siya. So, maybe a few more times using the vacuum or the blow-dry feature para talagang, you know, mag-dry talaga siya ng gusto. Or air-dry na lang. So, anyway, all in all, it's still nice because we have a dog. We have dogs. And, um, naamoy ko yung scent ng, what do you call that, the detergent or the soap that I use. So, medyo naging fresh yung um, carpet namin. However, kailangan pa rin siyang ibilad. Otherwise, baka makulog. So, yeah. I mean, buy at your own risk. But this one is really helpful because of those reasons. And, you know, we really need to clean our furniture from time to time. So, here you go. Oh, by the way, I got this for around 1990-something. Yeah. But the original price is 3000 in 500 i think yeah but you know what it varies from different shops sells it at different prices so let's see if you'll get something na mas mura. 
all right so there you go guys thank you for watching this video and if this is something that you're interested in don't forget to like and subscribe